Hello, I'm Kimberly Wollaston. Today, we'll be talking about the deadly amoeba scare that has occurred across the country, as well as some tips on how to avoid your own infection. That's here on Insider's Health News. The stories have been few and far between, so we don't want anyone to panic. But the deadly amoeba that has popped up indiscriminately around the country is certainly cause for some concern. After all, a brain-eating amoeba is lurking at the bottoms of lakes and ponds, gaining access to us through our nostrils and resulting in catastrophic injury or death. Serious stuff. The amoeba, called the Neglaria fowleri, has been causing some problems in three different states already. Because of the unusual heat this summer, bodies of water are not only heating up, but also becoming smaller and shallower. This hot, stagnant water is a hotbed of activity for the single-celled amoeba. It won't affect everyone who enters the water, but for those who are sensitive to the organisms, it almost always proves fatal. First, it causes fever, headache, stiff neck, and eventually leads to coma and death. And despite the rarity of this problem, it doesn't hurt to exercise some caution. The best thing you can do is avoid any body of fresh water. Of course, that's a bit on the ridiculous side, so let's try and make it more specific. Stay out of any water that is shallow and warm. Also, if you're going to head into any lakes or ponds, make sure to plug your nose when jumping in and avoid splashing around your face. And if all of that just seems too ridiculous and you won't even enjoy your swim time, then find a pool, an ocean, or a garden hose because brain-eating organisms aren't just science fiction anymore. That's it for this edition of Insider's Health News. I'm your host, Kimberly Walston, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the docs.